with Air Environment, and this is going to be our standard customer training. One charging is going to be what comes with the Nissan Leaf. It has a black bag in the back of your vehicle, so zero emissions on it, and it will have this J1772 connector. Instead of this unit, which is level two, it will have a 120 out, uh, volt outlet, just like that. What we saw here today is a level two. It'll charge your vehicle from fully depleted to fully charged in about six to eight hours. Um, the level one, I uh, forgot to tell to mention, is about an 18 hour charge, um, much slower. So this makes much more sense to go in the houses. This is everything, we put the level twos at all the dealerships, all the houses are getting these. And then of course you have the level three charger, which is a DC fast charge. It gets a 480 volt feed, it's three phase and it has a DC um, connection point. So what you're taking here is AC voltage and putting it on the car's charger and it inverts it to DC, where the DC fast charger is taking AC voltage and on board um, the rectifier is taking it and putting it directly onto the battery right. um, as DC instead of AC. Some of the safety features of the AV unit are this breakaway cable. Um, the leaf, if you have this plugged into the front of the car, it won't pull away, but for whatever reason, if it was just off, if it wasn't all the way hooked in, you could start the car and pull away. And instead of pulling everything that we just put in here today off the wall, it'll break here and we can replace this cord. Okay. Um, it's GFI protected, just like your outlets in your kitchens, um, bathrooms, stuff like that. Uh, so it's GFCI protected. You have this disconnect, which will dump power out to the whole unit right here, on off. Um, we have, basically, um, what we have here is this pin is hooked up to a data line that connects to, that communicates with the vehicle. Okay. So it doesn't think it's t in, hooked into the car right now just because my finger's under it. Once it locks in and makes that connection and communicates back and forth, that's when it knows it's hooked up to the car and that's when the contactor in here will shut. So this is all very safe. This is all dead right now. The dog can come by and bite this or the kids can mess with it and it's fine. Um, there's no power in the cord right now. Not until it hooks up to the car and then that low voltage signal off the data line will close this contactor in here and that's when you'll get full current flowing through. Okay. Let's say if the, uh, if the, cor if the cord is long enough that I We'll be charging the leaf outside the garage and it rains. Okay. Is that waterproof? So it's fine. This is a NEMA 3R rated piece of equipment, which means it's water, it's water, I don't want to say watertight, um, depending on how you interpret the code, but these are all sitting outside at dealerships. It can be rained on. Okay. Um, you wouldn't want to sit here and just spray it with the hose, but these are for outdoor usage, NEMA okay. 3R rated. Um, so um, when you hook it up to the car, now we'll kind of walk through what happens, how you use it. It's really a plug and play. You can just as easily as pull it off just like I did, plug it into the car, and walk away from it. And I'll show you with our service tool light. Um, you can listen for the contactor to snap shut inside. And now it's working. So this sent a basically told it that it was hooked up to a car. Oh, hang on, I have the GFI on. I'll do that next. So now you can see, and you have uh, in French and English, um, what's going on here. Power present, that'll always be on. As long as this is on and there's power to the house, you'll have power present. Then ready to charge. So it'll be power and present, ready to charge when it's just sitting here um, and not hooked up to the car. Once it hooks up to the car, it'll say vehicle connected and once the charge starts, charge start, um, vehicle charging. Pretty intuitive. But the, once the car is done charging, once it has a full battery, it won't keep pulling power, so it's not going to keep running your power bill. It knows that it's full and it'll stop and it'll go back to just power present and ready to charge. Right. The same thing if the car is not fully charged, but I, I, I program the car to say 
only start at seven o'clock at sure. night because that's our so uh, you can off -peak set time. in the vehicle. You can set a time to start charging. So you have okay. time of use where the um, yeah. the times it goes down the rate. Yeah. So you can set your car to a time for it to start. So you could hook it up and not, and it won't do anything right. until it, the car communicates and tells it at seven o'clock it's time to charge. Perfect. So I can simulate also the uh, the GFI trip, and that's your trouble. So it'll dump out just like that. If you ever see this trouble light, you'll want to hit stop, and that'll clear it, and then hook it back up to the vehicle again. And if it, if it goes just like normal, you had a GFI trip, and that's it. Okay. If it goes back to trouble, uh, that's when you're going to want to unhook it and call uh, the helpline that's underneath, because they'll be able to walk you through further steps for troubleshooting. Okay. And that's on the back of the manual I gave you, showed you that, that yeah. number. It's yeah. also listed under here. Okay. So, um, let me see, that was the service tool light. And so really it is a plug and play unit where unless you do set the timer on the vehicle, it'll start and stop. You can put it in and it'll start, you can hit stop for whatever reason. So say you had your timer on um, and, you did, and it hooked in and it wanted to start charging for whatever reason it started working, you can just hit stop. And it'll stop. Okay. And then you can hit start again, and it'll start again. Um, so you do have that option there, but it mechanically there's not a ton going on inside, so it's a pretty fail safe. We mm -hmm. want to make it um, as simplified as possible. Um, you've got your cable. A lot of people just put the cable over the top of the unit. Yeah. Um, instead of putting it in on the, you know, it's just preference. You know, some people like this. Okay. Um, Perfect. Any questions? Yeah, it's a, it's a question I already asked you before, but uh, I think it's useful for, for the video. Is what happens if uh, a friend of mine comes with a car that it's a, has a 6.6 a .6 kilowatt hour sure. charger? So, is, the, is this charging station ready for that car? Sure. So AV was looking ahead and saw that the 6.6 .6 kW battery was coming in that load. Everything on this unit is sized off that 6.6 .6 kW load. The current 3.3 is fine and will work on these just as usual. Um, they'll all have this same J1772 connector, so uh, any different manufacturer that has an electric vehicle, if your friends come over, they'll all hook up to this connection point. Um, but yes, this is size 4A 6.6. The wire size is big enough, the breaker size is big enough, and all the internal components are rated to handle that load. One thing to note is that uh, if the power should go off, since a lot of charging will be done at night, um, that if you woke up in the morning and you saw your alarm clock blinking at 12 or 1, uh, that your car, as soon as the power came back on, your charging started. You wouldn't need to come back out and actually hook up or uh, start the charger again. It will do it itself. Uh, another thing to mention is the warranty that we have with the AV products and our AV uh, installation network. We go through and train all of our installers. They go through an eight-hour course. They take a test. They um, have some hands-on training with the units, with our test tools, our paperwork, the processes from site assessment to where we are right now completing the installation. Now that warranty includes three years parts and labor. You're looking at a 24-hour turnaround if you should call in and something's wrong with the dock that we'll have a new one replaced within 24 hours. Okay. Um, so you don't get that if you don't use our installation services. If you do a cash and carry, you won't have that peace of mind that you can get a dock within 24 hours installed. Um, and that is pretty much it. So thank you for joining us on the right. AV installation. Thanks, Eric.